All right, folks, what is up? One Big Bug, and I'm coming at you with Euro Truck Simulator 2, and I bet you thought I forgot. No, I just decided to wait one more day because I'm actually working while I have the downtime in terms of making my videos. I'm working on upgrading um, my trailer packs and my uh, TSM map, which new ones have come out. Even though I have a slow connection right now, uh, hopefully they'll be fixed by Wednesday. Um, I have been downloading them and installing them and dealing with any problems that have cropped up, and so far, so good, mostly. But no, I have not forgotten. I downloaded the Scania 2012 R700 V8 truck. And first, let's go over the truck real quick. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of modifications in base. There's only one um, cab, and that's top line. There's only two chassis, and they're both 4x2s. Kind of a little bit of a drawback. And the real difference is right down in the bottom here. You'll see the lights change. Yeah, that's kind of it, but I still think it looks pretty cool. You know, you, your truck gets a little meaner. There's only one engine, a 700 horsepower, uh, 3,200 newton meters for 1,000 to 1,450 RPM. There is a multitude of transmissions. The interiors are just, you know, standard, exclusive, R700, and there's no uh, left side, you know, there's no English uh, side, which uh, eh, kind of sucks. Uh, but it's not terrible. Um, we'll get to the skins uh, in, a, in a minute. You can see some of them there. I have what I thought was a total of 11, but I think some of them maybe come with the Scania download. I'm not sure, because there's more skins in here than what I downloaded. So I think some of the skins come with the Scania. I'm not 100% positive. Okay? But I'm going to do the best that I can, and I'll just showcase what I have, and then I will link what I have. Accessories, very standard. Uh, tires do come with specific R700 tires, as you can see here and here. You can put on side pipes. Um, you can put on the stock uh, side there. There's only one bar, uh, lower bar, available. All the bull bars are available, I believe. The mirrors, the sign plates, uh, I showed you that. This is what's available for uh, top bars. And then, you know, you have space in the bonfire. And then that's pretty much it, although there are mods out there for the truck. This is kind of just what I'm running with right now, um, just to showcase and show off the truck. So why don't we get to the skins? Now, this is kind of like the default skin that you usually see, and actually I think it's pretty cool, the black and orange. Uh, me personally, though, um, I always kind of like blue. Blue is orange is complement, this much I know for sure, so I think a blue and orange truck looks uh, really nice. As a matter of fact, you could even... Um, reverse the issue here. Uh, we don't have to get it exact, but, you know, pretty close. And then you can do this. And put it down to orange. Orange. Orangey. There we go, like that. And then go all the way up. And then, you know, kind of adjust it to where we want there. You know, either way, I think it looks really cool. But, um... It has a lot of cool skins, and this is starting off as one of them. This is USA, USA, United States of America across the top of the um, light box. United States of America going across the top of the cab here. You can see the Golden Gate Bridge with the shadow of the Statue of Liberty in the background. Um, the American Eagle on the side skirts here and on the back. USA, uh, straight across the back. Uh, it's a really nice patriotic skin for the United States. I personally think it's a little busy done in the flag all over like that. It, it, I don't know. It's, it seems just a little loud, but I think it's still really well done. With the bridge and then the Statue of Liberty and then the eagle and the flag. And then even the USA across the back. And I like how it's like all flag. You know, this is the back of the flag and then the rest of the truck in the front is the front of the flag. Um, so I like how that's done. I think it's a really, really cool skin. Now, I'm not going to go in order because, quite frankly, I don't know where some of these skins came from. So I'm going to go with the ones that are linked first, and then I'll go with the ones that are not. Now, this one we have the Scania R700 in green and black. 
And this is, of course, akin to things like Grave Digger, if you're familiar with monster trucks. Kind of made this color scheme popular. Um, the neon green with the black here. <clears throat> and it's just a full-out tribute to Scania. You see Scania in big black uh, block letters across the front of the light box, which is neon green. It even changes the, um, the color of the um, visor here. And then, of course, the mirrors as well go green. And then the bottom half of the truck is green with a little black inside here, where it says Scania in green block lettering. And then, you know, here you have the Scania symbol. There's nothing up top. And then you have the V8 symbol in the back uh, in the green. And, of course, the two sides are the same. And your side mirror is the same. I'm going to assume that your front mirror is going to be the same. Um, in modifying the truck, the front mirror came off, and I just didn't put it back. So, yeah, I think it looks really nice. I've always loved the black and neon green color scheme. I always was a fan of um, Grave Digger growing up as a kid. I used to like monster trucks. So I think it looks really, really cool. And it's a really nice, uh, it's a really nice tribute, um, in a sense, to Scania. And inadvertently, because I know they didn't intend it, to like a Grave Digger style truck. And finally, for the first three... I have linked is Fear the Dark. And yeah, you can see the Batman mask in the background there. Um, with all black, and you get like a frozen rain coming down. On the back here, it's just flat black. It's the same on both sides. And you can see the rain continues on into the side skirts. The bottom of the truck continues a little bit into the front of the truck. The grill is just left flat black. And they do make use of the light box to put Fear of the Dark um, up top and of course the top of the truck is just more of the rain it's a very simplistic skin that really pays an, a great tribute to the uh, batman theme especially the newest batmans um while not going overboard you know it's really simple you know what it means you understand it it's very clear it looks very nice it's very crisp nothing that i can tell gets cut off Nothing I can tell gets like out of place or stretched. It's a really well done Batman skin, and I think it's really cool. Now, for these next skins, I believe they come with the Scania, but don't quote me on this, because I'm going to be like turning skins on and off as I go, because a lot of them are made by the same people. And so there's going to come a series of skins where I may be like doing them one at a time, because they all end up in the same spot. I'm not sure. They may not even work at all, but I'm going to try. They're new, so they should. Right, this one is black and white, and before I go too far, this does get a little not safe for work, okay? But mind you, it's not, <laughs> it's not me. All right, I'm not exactly sure if this is a movie or what is it, because you can see the beach palm and the people down here on the skirt coming out of the water so it's obviously something to do with um getting stranded on an island or something like that and you can see the face in the background i'm gonna assume that's like the bad guy and then the girl and then the two sides are the same and there's nothing up top uh it's really classy really well done uh i the only thing is like i said i know nothing about it um I'm not sure of the content of it, but it still looks like a really pretty nice skin. It's, it's, it's very well done. And even where it cuts over into the different areas, it, it just continues on. And on the back, this is where it gets a little N, uh, NSFW, okay? Is, yeah. Um, I'm not going to zoom in too much, but you can see the angel wings. You can see the back. Um... I really hope that's not what I think, <laughs> but that's all I'm going to show of it. You don't need to see any more. Um, it's a good skin. Definitely, if you're looking for something a little more adult, this is the way to go. But for the most part, um, I don't know. I, like I said, I'm not, because I'm not familiar with the content, it's not big on my list. But I can't deny that it's really good and a really pretty skin. And it actually goes into the white instead of the black, which so many people do. This one is Graffiti, and this is an extremely busy skin, as you can see. There's no way I can describe all of this. But you can see just tons and tons of graffiti all over the truck. The face, the old boombox style with the wrapper. I have no idea what that is. And up top, you can see 
if I can get it out of the light, some like different faces, happy, sad masks, it looks like. I have no idea who that is. And then on this side, they get some kind of like vulture here. and It's just graffiti. It's made to, made to look like your truck is painted in graffiti. And despite how busy it is, and it is extremely busy, I actually think it's really well done. And, you know, kind of looks like you left your truck in, the, in, in uh, maybe not the best neighborhood, and it didn't get stolen, but they did make it look pretty. Not all graffiti is bad. You know, when, when the graffiti comes out looking like this, and across the sides here, I have no idea what this says. It's obviously something, but I have no clue. And then the other side, it's actually different. So, uh, I really like the back, the blue face, it almost looks like Cortana, um, and the mask here and whatnot. Uh, I think maybe this is this, which is probably the creator, but uh, I can't tell. But if you're looking for something like really out there, really different, um, something that you probably won't see very often, this would really be an awesome skin. I see nothing wrong with it. Um, I, I don't know. How, usually I'm not a big fan of like really, really busy skins that have all kinds of things going on. But this one just makes it work. And the next graffiti is a little more simple. It, music. And then it's all about music. I don't know why it's called graffiti. That's just how it's coming up. But as you can see, it's music-based here. And you see the two separate faces, two separate hands here, putting their fing uh, fingers up to the earphones, pushing the earphones in for better sound. Uh, the two sides are the same. The girl with her hands up on the headphones for better sound. The DJ mix turntable down here with the music coming off it. The front is just completely flat black. Uh, the top does have... Um, designs on I believe this is like the music flowing here I'm not entirely sure what this is to represent but again it's it's really nice simple um, simple skin I it looks really cool especially on this truck I don't know how else to describe it and I know I say that a lot but it's like there's more I want to say about it when I say that, but I just don't know what, you know, it's, it's just really nice, and I wish I had more words for it, but unfortunately, I'm not the most articulate person in the world when it comes to speaking, so, there you go, man, beautiful skin, and this one here, finally, not finally, this is called WorldNet, and you could basically call this Matrix, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's a little bit different. If you look and you uh, pass this, uh, past all the ma Matrix uh, design here, you can actually see um, maps of the world, different areas, Libya, Sudan, uh, Algier, and then on the side here you can see India, Pakistan, uh, Indonesia, I believe, is there, and then across the front and top, it's just all Matrix and Numbers. And then on the side, you know, you have the Canada, you have Canada, United States, Mexico. Um, so it is a, you know, there is a world map back there. And obviously it's meant to represent the world uh, connection being online, being able to, uh, you know, be able to contact pretty much anywhere at any given time instantly. Um, I really like it using the Matrix kind theme to represent world connectivity in terms of, um, you know, the internet. And I kind of wonder, like, some of these darker areas here, if maybe that's to represent they're not as connected. Uh, you know, what the different... You see how it's lined out here? And even, you know, kind of like part of Australia is lined out, but only part of it. And then you come over the United States, Mexico, you know, how the different light-ups. I wonder if that's meant to meant how well these areas are connected or not. I'm not sure. But either way, it's a really cool and awesome skin. And again, I believe this is one that comes with the Scania. And finally, we have Griffin. The Griffin skin, as you can see, is just that. It's a Griffin. I think the two sides are the same. Uh, this is just the Griffin in flight here, it looks like, along the side. It looks really nice. I love how it goes outside the regular color scheme 
with the tan, almost like sunsetting sky in the background. And you see Griffin across the front with the Scania symbols. I think that's kind of what it's made to represent because the Scania symbol is kind of like uh, eagle head, griffin head. Uh, so it really does work. Um, so the lettering up top in the box actually looks really, really sweet. And then on the back, it's the griffin here, uh, wing spread, uh, calling out, standing on the rock. It's amazingly... It, it really hits that borderline point of awesome and cool. It brings the two together, you know? Um, what's the difference between awesome and cool? Well, I kind of meant cool to be a little more, like, elegant, you know, but kind of the same thing either way. A little misspeaking on my part, but it looks really, really sweet. And, again, I think this is one of the skins that comes with the truck, but I'm not 100% sure. Either way, shoo, it, it's beautiful, and there's not much more I can say about that. So let's transition over and see what else I can get to show up for the Scania, shall we? All right, looks like I'm going to be doing these skins two at a time at this rate. Maybe even one at a time at one point, but it is what it is. We shall nevertheless endeavor. As you can see, this one's called Golden Scania, and that's exactly what it is. It is a white background with a golden uh, highlighting into the griffin here. The Scania symbol with the king, because uh, Scania is king of the road. Uh, and of course, you see R700 and beautiful gold lettering down here with the golden sparkle slash coming through. On the back, R700, and then it lights up in here in the gold coloring with the Scania symbol. The two sides are exactly the same. Across the front, you see R700 with the nice, beautiful gold slash coming across and through there. And a little gold highlighting down in the bottom. This is, this is a skin that is pure, 100% elegant. It's a beautiful, awesome amazing skin that just it's one of those trucks that you see go down the road and you look at it because it's it, it looks like it's gliding you know that's how i i picture this skin it just looks so amazing when it comes to just a sheer elegant truck i wish this was something similar for this for the regular scania i really do it, it's a purely beautiful truck and i love it and if you decide to get the scania r700 or you have the r700 and you don't have the skin i recommend that you get it period next one is the scania tiger and yeah as you can see this is real easily uh just the tiger i think this may be a glitch with me i'm not sure with the lime green mirrors and the and the bar up top uh it could have to do with uh, two skins are actually crossed right now, and I think that's the issue, as I have other skins on. This is not how it will look if you have it on by itself. I promise you that. I think the issue I'm having is that two skins are loaded, and it, one's overriding this area. Because I tried turning on three skins, and only two are showing up. Um, but it does, as you can see, have a beautiful picture of a tiger on the side. The nose does get cut off a little bit, but it's not too bad. The back is just flat black, and then it's the same same on both sides, and then flat black on the top. It's a pretty skin that's very, very basic, and I really think that it's really nice if somebody's a really good fan of, you know, really good, like a lo somebody that loves tigers, like my mother, to be honest, although she doesn't play the game, obviously. So, um, you know, this is just a really good tiger skin. Right now, it's the only tiger skin for the R700. But even comparing it to other tiger skins I've come across, it looks really nice. And again, like I said, the mirrors and the bar should not be those colors when, if you decide to use this. This is probably me getting uh, skins crossed. It happens. All right. I apologize for the frequent transition that's going to be coming up, but there's no other way to do that because it's really a few certain people that makes the skins for these trucks, for this truck, but they make many of them, so keep that in mind. <coughs> All right, and we're back with our next two skins, and as you can see here, the first one is called Da Doom Cool Fire. Awesome. Awesome skin. 
it comes close to elegance, but it's just too strong into the awesome to be elegant. I must say that in looking at it, as you can see, it's pretty much the same on both sides along the top. There's one problem. There is one problem with the skin. And that's the fact it says cool fire down the side. If it didn't say cool fire down the side, this would probably be one of the ultimate skins for this truck, if not the ultimate skin. Across the back, you can see you have the flames flying up over the truck, and the sides are the same, and the top, you get the flames as well. And on the front, you have R700 that's burning up in the flames, and the flames come along the front. And I think it's a perfect, perfect frame for that black grill right in the front. Plus the mean look in the truck with the smaller lights, man. Whew, this is just, it's, it's an awesome, awesome, awesome skin. But that cool fire down here on the wing, I'm going to call it, even though it's not. I just, uh, it, it, it's a small blight. It, it, it's this little thing, but it's there. And it just, for me, takes away. It's like the one thing in the skin that makes it a, a 9.5 instead of a 10, you know. And, oh, it's like so close to perfect, but just not. But I'd still use it, man. This is probably the skin I'd choose. It'd either be this or the gold Scania uh, out of what we've seen so far. And I don't know if the other skins would make that much of a difference to me or not. And next one is America. We actually got several themed um, trucks like this. Not America themed, country themed. The other America one was really busy. This guy, he keeps his uh, themes a little more subtle which I really like. And as you can see, it's just the eagle coming out of the American flag on a black background as it fades. The side skirts stay black. The American flag across the back here. And it's the same on both sides. And that really annoys me, but there's nothing I can do about it. I'm not sure what's causing it, but it does not look like that in the um, mod. Oh, excuse me one sec, please. Sorry, I needed to answer the phone. Uh, but... Um, not much else to say about this skin anyways. It's just... Re Out of the two USA skins, the two America skins, I'd honestly choose this one. Because like I said, I'm not as much into really busy skins as I am the more subtle and elegant skins. Unless it's like kind of an abstract skin. Um, a little bit, you know, call to your most recent attention, the Blue Fire skin. Uh, in, in my last skin showcase on uh, Friday. Well, I uploaded it Friday night. You, you guys probably saw it Saturday night. But, yeah, this is definitely a really nice uh, American theme skin. So, there you go. All right, let's see uh, what else we can get to pop up. I'm not, like I said, this is a little bit more effort than I intended it to be. But, nevertheless, we shall endeavor. All right, I got three more skins to show you. Unfortunately, I can only show you them one at a time because they all load into the same slot. So again, I apologize for the rapid transitions, but it is what it is. And these last three all have to do with the America skin I just showed you earlier in that they are country themed and they're all kind of similar but different. Does it make sense? No? Well, just watch and you'll see. This is, of course, the England-based one with the Union Jack. Yes, I actually know what it's called in the background. You see London Bridge, and apparently Doctor Who here is flying by, but no, we all know this. The standard uh, telephone booth uh, for England, or at least used to be. I don't know how it is now, because quite frankly, I've never been to England. And the two sides are the same. Again, much like the America truck, um, it's very subtle, well done on the sides, with a couple things that well represent England, and then, of course, the big Union Jack English flag on the back. Um, you know, very, very good for people who are patriots, citizens, or just people who love England. This is pretty much a good skin. Next skin, please. Now, our next one here hits a little close uh, to the heart for me, but not quite so much as you would think. Um... Although, you think if I, you know, if it hits close to the heart, like I'm saying, then it would actually mean something. As you can see here on the back flag, it's the Italian theme. I'm not sure what volcano is in Italy to represent this, unless they're talking about, like, you know, Krakatoa back in the days. But that was more towards uh, Greece and Greek, wasn't it? I, I don't know. I'm very terrible with my history, to be honest. Um... 
but it does represent a volcano erupting with the lava coming down. I'm not, like I said, I'm not 100% sure what it means with Italy, which is kind of stupid considering that I'm mostly Italian. But I don't know much about the, the motherland, as it were. You know, I was born and raised in the United States, moved to uh, Hawaii, which... Yeah, that's part of the United States, eh, loosely, but don't don't get me going into that, or you'll never hear the end of it. Um, it's again a really nice, subtle skin um, that is good. I'm guessing for people who are Italian or fans of Italy or whatnot, just because of this. Um, this, the volcano erupting with the lava coming down. I'm not 100% sure if people will like it, but I do. I think it looks nice. And then finally, we have one more skin to go. And our final skin. Um, the eagle with the forest in the background. The mountains up on the side. And of course, both sides are the same. What country does this represent? Poland. Yes, this is the Polish one. and uh, I don't know how some people feel about that or think, because uh, I have to admit, the first thing that came to mind is that the Polish people, back where I come from in the Massachusetts, New England area, get about as much respect as the uh, Portuguese people that uh, live here in Hawaii uh, get. They tend to be uh, you know, the butt end of jokes, but you know, that's not how I actually personally feel about it. I don't exactly know what the eagle on the branch with the mountains in the background represent for Poland, because I'm going to be straight with you. If there's one country that I definitely know nothing about, it is Poland. But it's still beautiful, and the Polish flag on the back with the Scania symbol, you know, in the middle, and even, you know, here, it just looks per It just looks nice. It looks really nice. You know, this is a skin I could actually use, uh on the side of my truck even if I don't quite understand the whole meaning behind it. It's just that nice of a skin. Out of all of the country skins that are available from uh, this one creator, this is probably the one I choose. Regardless of how I felt about Poland or England or Italy or even America, uh, this is to me just by far the best looking one. And I that's that's it. It's the best looking one out of the ones that I showed you. <sighs> All right. So, that is going to be it for the R700 today. I will keep the R700 in my um fleet of trucks because skins are made for it still. Um so it will become a part of the skin showcase when skins for it become available. I actually think I'm going to take this baby out for a spin and see how she tows, despite the fact that she's only 4x2. Uh, I'm not overly excited about that. I always like my 6x4, uh, at, mi at minimum, 6x4 chassis. But still, I have to take her out at least once and, and see how she does. With a seven horse 700 horsepower engine, she's got plenty of towing power. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but beyond that... That's going to be me done for this episode, folks. I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. If you could leave a comment, rate, and subscribe down below, that would be a fantastically awesome thing that you could do for me. Until next time, though, this is going to be one big bug. I'm going to be signing out, and I'll see you on the road.